Today we're here at Pimble Taramara Preschool, which is fondly known as Handley Avenue, and we're here with Anne Townsend. Welcome, Anne. Thank you. Thanks yes, for coming good today. To be here. Anne's actually been with uh, Handley Avenue for 40 years, so that's an amazing <laughs> amount of service in the modern day. Um, so, Anne, tell us a little bit about. So, what year was uh, what year did Handley Avenue open in? Handley. Um, Avenue opened in 1962. Wow. And there was a group of parents who decided that they needed a preschool in the area. Yes. And so they knocked on doors and asked for the money for one brick. Wow. And the preschool was created. So yeah. it's on the foundation mm. of one brick at a time. One brick at a time. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And what year mm. did you start here? I started here uh, first in 1979. Wow. It was my first job. So what do you love about Handley? Well, I love the environment. I love the, the trees and the garden. It's such a fantastic place for children to learn. And I love belly laughing with the staff yeah. over happy moments <laughs> because there are a lot of those in the day. We're not watching the clock. No. I love the freedom to teach the children whatever they want to learn about. Yes. Rather than um, a curriculum that says I have to do this or that. You know, I really love that. So, Anne, tell us a little bit mm -hmm. how Handley Avenue's changed over the years. Yeah, well, uh, there are a lot more trees in the garden here, so that's one thing, uh, which is an extremely positive thing. You know, it was a beautiful environment here. Um, and uh, things were a lot simpler back then because um, we had three teachers here and one assistant, four wow. staff. And how many kids would that be? And that was with 90 children, 45 on the three-day group and 45 on the two-day group. Wow. But now we have 15 staff with the same amount of children. And on front. the learning front, well, actually, no. Children are children, and children play as children. Yes. And play is the language of a child. So, Anne, tell us a little bit about your favourite part about teaching at Handley. Uh, well, that's easy. I really love the present moments with children, just being in the moment. When they come up to me and they say, come and look at this, and they've, they've seen a bird or something in the playground that they've never seen before, and we sit and we watch, and look at the colours and talk about the bird and then we can go to the internet perhaps and you know listen to the bird call yes. or something like that so those really they're just gold yeah just the pride on faces or the happiness or you know I've made a new friend or, yes yeah, beautiful they're, they're really wonderful moments so apart from myself uh, any other famous students you've had come through the the doors here well yeah there have been a couple of famous students um Chris Lilly oh he's wonderful he's one of note um Comic. Maybe he um, was thinking about you when he did Summer Heights High. Maybe channeling. he was, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Children love to have the sense of identity belonging to a community. Yes. And um, the parents all come here at the same time because of our hours. Yes. They all drop off at the same time, they all pick up at the same time. So the parents get to know each other. Yes. They get to um, chat and share parenting stories and um, get to know the children. So it becomes a greater family. Yes. Here. And I think friends are made for life, whether it's um, amongst the children or amongst the parents. So that is, that again is just gold. Uh, should we talk a little bit about the Family Fun Day? That's very famous yeah. in the area. It is very famous. It's been running as long as I can remember. Oh, ah, interesting. And, and longer. Yes. And um, it's um, a great way to celebrate early childhood. Yes. And to um, fundraise for great equipment and for wonderful teaching aids, yes. which just enhances our work with the children. Th thanks so much for watching today. It's so beautiful to take a, a step back in time. And thank you so much, Anne, well, for sharing your gorgeous stories with us.